Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and this is a quick guide to installing uh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP on your PC so you can start using it as a web server and start developing in PHP. Um, basically, it's going to be in very short chunks of explaining different aspects of this. I'm not going to go through the install process because that's relatively straightforward. Um, if you go ahead and Google or head over to the URL that you can see in my browser now um, for XAMPP, um, this is a, a package that I've used for about five years now. It's uh, very basic, does the job. Um, it's not very, you know, intensive on, on your system. Um, and essentially, it contains Apache. Uh, MySQL and PHP, which are the things that we are focusing on as PHP developers. It also includes a host of other things in which are, you know, useful. PHP MyAdmin is the interface between you and your MySQL database. So when you're doing things like storing uh, data in a database, you can need, well, you don't need, but you it's very useful to use PHP MyAdmin uh, to create tables, to insert dummy data, and to review data that's been posted through your PHP application. Uh, it also includes things like GD, which is the image uh, manipulation library for PHP, and a host of other things as well. Um, what we are focusing on at the, in this tutorial, uh, not really tutorial, guide, uh, is Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And we'll take a brief look at PHP MyAdmin as well. So, um, once you've installed this or downloaded and installed, I'm going to be using, oh, I'm showing you on Windows, but it's available for Linux and Mac as well. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what happens once you have installed it. If I head over to here, um, I'm basically accessing 127.0.0.1 from my browser. You can also use localhost as well. Uh, that will bring you to this page and that, note, uh, that basically tells you that you have successfully installed um, Apache. You can take a look around here. I probably recommend just, you know, having a click on a few things and, you know, seeing what's going on. Um, it makes sense to you know take a look at various things on here since you're going to be running this in your system. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the control panel. So from your start menu or or whatever you're using, uh, you will have this control panel here, and it will tell you what services are running. Now you can't see PHP because PHP isn't really a service that runs; it's more part of Apache. So Apache is our web server, and MySQL is our database solution. Uh, and you can see that these are both running at the moment. Now I've got SVC checked, which means that I'm running these as system processes. Uh, so if I go ahead and just bring this over here, uh, just expand this a bit, you can see I've got Apache 2.2 here, and if I type my uh, oh, MY in, you can see that we've got MySQL. So I start and restart things, so restart or stop uh, services from here. Uh, it might get to the point where you're developing and you might crash Apache or, or something like that, you know, you, you, you never know. Um, uh, you might want to go ahead and restart it or the same with MySQL as well. So you can either do this from this control panel, which I've found to be a bit dodgy. It doesn't work as well as perhaps you'd like it to. Uh, so this is why I run as services, so I can just hit restart and that will restart uh, that particular service. Okay, so um, what we're going to look at next is how we can go ahead and create our first page, uh, where we go to create our first page that we can run through our server, um, and uh, uh, we're also going to take a brief look at PHP MyAdmin as well, uh, and our database interface. So let's take a look at the core folder of XAMPP and see what it contains. Um, so I'm over in C colon backslash XAMP. It will be different depending on which operating system that you're running, obviously. Uh, but this is a guide for Windows. We've got all these uh, files which are probably somewhat meaningless to you. Um, most of them are to me, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the most important. PHP. If we need to configure PHP in any way, you'll find the uh, php.ini file in here. If we scroll down, there it is. Uh, and this basically contains some of the, or all of the settings that, you know, relate to PHP that we can change. We then can go ahead and restart Apache, uh, and this will bring in all these changes. So uh, you'll need to probably change something in here at some point. For example, maximum file upload sizes, 
certain things that you'll come across that will give you instruction to go ahead and edit this file uh, and this is just a quick note that this is where you'll find it and remember head over to wherever you're starting or restarting Apache from restart that whenever you make a change to your php.ini file okay so I have made um, a directory within htdocs and ah, I didn't really explain that very well at all uh, so let me go ahead back to Xamp. HDDocs is where all of your um, uh, files will go that you'll want to show within your web server or you want to be accessible within your web server. This can be changed. You can go over to Apache, uh, conf and httpd.conf. Let's go ahead and edit that. Uh, you'll see here that we've got a uh, load of you know, settings here. And I think if I type root, we've got server root, document root. Here we go. So the document root is the directory of which you will serve your documents. By default, we'll request taking them this directory, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you can go ahead and change this as well. So it might be c colon backslash uh, or c colon forward slash web or something like that. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to take a look at... Um, creating a file within these directories so we've got our config here what we want to do is we want to head over to htdocs as I explained earlier and this will contain a load of files that you uh, basically are, is this that you can see in the browser at the moment you've got you'll have an xamp directory as well so we're actually going to go ahead and load up our uh, text editor I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to type PHP and I'm going to end a tag down here. This isn't necessary if you've just got PHP in uh, your uh, file, by the way, but you know that's something to go on later. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a file called index.php. Now, index.php or index.something is going to be the file that by default. Uh, your web server will hit within a directory. So index.php, if you had index.php and downloads.php, index.php would be hit if just that directory was accessed. So it's the root file that's accessed basically. So I'm going to go ahead and echo here, test, and we're going to go ahead and try and run this file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my browser, and I'm going to go localhost forward slash start, and there we go, we've got test output here. So we're using, we're now using PHP. So that's where you'd keep all of your files. Um, basically, we are, you know, if you followed the installation properly, you don't have uh, any applications running that are using port 80. And you can see this localhost page and you can create files within your htdocs directory. And you get an output like this, then you are ready to go. And you can start writing PHP.